for by grace are ye saved through faith. And thanks to Calvary, the entire world can enjoy both of these fundamental privileges. Calvary is where it all started for the Hearst family in October of 95, when we formed the Calvary Baptist Church in Guayaquil, Ecuador. Having been sent out a few years earlier from the Fairfax Baptist Temple in Fairfax, Virginia, and having been approved to serve with the missions agency of BIMI, the Hearst family went to a land that already believed in Calvary without enjoying the privileges of grace and faith. Most already believed that Christ died for them, but it was merely information about Calvary and not transformation through Calvary. The cross was not a symbol of freedom, but one of slavery, a message not of victory, but of defeat. But just as the world would have looked at Calvary with no hope for the future, Calvary Baptist could have given the very same impression, very little hope for the future. Thankfully, God's grace is not only greater than all our sin, but also greater than all our ceremonial piety. If God's church was to be built in Ecuador, God would have to do it. Though the beginnings gave little promise of hope, we continued to be faithful to what God had called us to do, to preach and teach about Calvary. Those who would listen began to realize that although they had been taught about Calvary ever since childhood, they had never obtained the grace that Calvary offers. They began to turn from their own works to the complete work of Christ. We soon began to outgrow our little apartment and started meeting in another location. Once again, the work did not seem promising as some of the faithful few started to fall away. After being informed that a Calvary Baptist Church already existed in the city, we decided to move to another location under another name, and in May of 97, we renamed the church to Grace Baptist Church. This family, came to the church shortly after we moved. They became convinced that God's grace was sufficient for them, got saved, and were baptized shortly after their salvation. God truly worked a miracle in both their lives, to the point that He is now one of the deacons and one of the most faithful soul winners. Jolanda also got saved and baptized shortly after coming to Grace Baptist. After going through the discipleship program, she became involved in the work and eventually surrendered to go to the mission field. After finishing her studies in our Bible Institute, she raised support and left as a missionary to Peru. While assisting another missionary family there, she got married and is now serving the Lord in the ministry with her family. Over the years, God has shown His grace to Grace Baptist Church, bringing many through the doors and adding to the church such as should be saved. In 2004, the church called its own pastor, Pastor Tito, the very first person I baptized after starting the church. He has continued in the ministry of preaching the gospel and has now witnessed firsthand how God bestows His grace to others as people repent of their sins, are baptized, and become true disciples of our Lord. Under his leadership, new property has been purchased and they are currently preparing to build. With Grace Baptist being totally indigenous, it was time for our family to move on. So after much prayer and research, and with the assistance of another missionary family that had recently arrived on the field, we started Faith Baptist Church about 25 minutes away in October of 2006. Our first service was also the 11th anniversary of having started Grace Baptist Church. Although we were expecting the same results as Grace's first service 11 years earlier, God seemed to have other plans. We spent half as much in advertising as when we started Grace, but the message was still spread of the new church start. We began promptly at the hour indicated and by the end of the service, we had over 40 in attendance. God continued to show His grace by bringing more people to the church 
and we continued to exercise faith. But just as grace and faith are both from God, but differ in their ministries, Grace Baptist and Faith Baptist are both a blessing from God, but are different churches. Shortly after starting Faith, we realized that many that attended were already saved, but had not grown since, and lacked true spiritual maturity. They were Christians, but not true disciples. The church took on the task of teaching and discipling the pure Word of God, untainted by emotionalism and other false doctrines. What a blessing to be able to see people grow in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. Although not always popular, we continued in the faith once delivered to the saints, and God has blessed our efforts. The church began to grow as many came for baptism and started to get involved. Faith Baptist has been active in the lives of families, helping them to grow as a couple and as a family. We have also been active with the teen ministry, helping them in their spiritual relationship with Christ, and even joining with Grace Baptist to help complete this very important task. From Calvary to Grace and now to Faith, God has blessed the ministry of the Hearst family in Ecuador. Yes, what God is doing has been exciting and if you have been supporting the Hearst family, you may rejoice with us and these teams as we look forward to even greater blessings in the future. The future does not look very bright on the political front now that the new president has been building new relationships that will more than likely hamper the influence of American missionaries. Though nobody quite knows what the future will hold, there is no need to panic for God is still in control. He has already provided for the future of the gospel in Ecuador. God is raising up young men that are training in the Bible Institute to be able to better teach and preach about Calvary. One of these is Paco, who came to Faith Baptist in 2007. Shortly after he was baptized, he made known the calling on his life to preach the gospel and hopefully one day to become the pastor of Faith Baptist Church. He has been a faithful young man and has fervently shared his faith with others. Another is Carlos, who came to Grace Baptist in 2007. Shortly after his baptism, he became involved in the ministry through soul winning, music, and teaching and preaching in children's classes. He has now made known the calling on his life to preach the gospel and one day to pastor a church. We are convinced that through these faithful members and others, God will continue to show His grace upon Ecuador as they show their faith in Him. From grace to faith, Ecuadorians can have the opportunity to hear about what Christ did at Calvary. Would you join with us in prayer that God would raise up more faithful men to proclaim his gospel to this needy and potentially closing country.